Welcome guys, today we're going to be reviewing the best way in my opinion to actually uh, verify a user email when they register on your site. Now for this example I've created a new Laravel installation and what I'm going to do is modify the basics so you can understand how this system works and how can you actually implement it in your project. Now to get ahead what I'm going to do is simply open up my editor and go to the resources. I mean the database migrations. Now once you're there, the user table, that's the default uh, user table that comes with Laravel, I'm just going to add a new field, which is a string, and the name is going to be token. Now this is going to be the verification token that's going to be sent to the user email. So let's save this up, and let's migrate our table. Alright, the table is now up. Now the next step is to simply use the PHP artisan um, make auth command. So it's going to create a basic register and login pages. Now this is probably the page where we're going to be checking everything out. So let's go ahead and go to our controller. So HTTP controllers, auth, and we have a register controller over here. Now as you can see, if you go down, you're going to see a function called user create. This is the function that actually creates the user. So what we're going to do is simply add a new field here called token. That is simply going to be a string random of, for example, 25 characters. Now let's save this. And this is going to create the token once the user is created. So let's assign this to a user. And let's return the user at the end. So in the middle, what we can do is notify the user with a new notification. So it's going to be a new verify email. And we're going to pass in the user. Now. What we have to do now is create this um, sort of email. But first, let's add the token to the fillable attributes in our user model. Let's go to the user model and add this token here. That's it. Now let's save this and go back to our register controller. We can see we notify the user with a notification. So let's actually create this notification. So PHP artisan make notification. And then we type in the name of the verification that we want to be uh, the class. So basically the notification has been created and it's in the notifications folder. Let's actually import this in this file. So let's go on the top and use the application notifications verify email. This is the name of the class we're going to be importing. Let's go there and notice that we have a user here as the user. Now, this user is simply going to be the user, and that means that we have a pro public property user. Now, remember we're actually using the user model here, so let's actually import it as well, which is here. All right, now the next thing we need to do is notify using a channel. In this case, we're going to be using the email interface to actually um, send a user uh, verification email so the user can actually confirm and verify at their account. All right, let's go back here and we're gonna see a simple string which I'm going to replace with something like, please verify your account email to continue. And now the text of the action is going to be verify email or verify account, I guess. And here is going to be a root into verify with uh, the user. Uh, token of course now uh, let's actually create this root so what we're gonna do is go to our web.php file roots and add this new root here so root method get to the verify and using a token like that now what we're gonna do is simply say something like let's go to a verify controller and to the function verify for example and now let's set up a name to be verify. That's it. Let's create a controller over here. So using the make controller command, let me create this controller. Let's actually go ahead to this controller and create this new function called public function verify that actually accepts one token as a parameter. Now what we're going to do here is say, okay, let's select a user where the token is the token that is coming in 
and we select the first or we throw it and a 404 error now if things have gone well we can actually um, verify this user right so let's actually assign this user to a variable and say user update and what we're going to update here is the token to be null now this means that for instance um, uh, once the token is null the user will be verified now i've noticed a mistake i've made when i started the video which is uh, the user table the token needs to be nullable here so let me actually migrate again so that everything works correctly all right now uh, once the user token is null it will mean the user is actually verified so let's go ahead and actually we can remove this user variable by just setting this up here and now once the uh, verification process has been completed we can return a redirect for example to a road called home and actually uh, with a success message called uh, account verified all right now uh what we actually need to do i'm gonna just command this out uh verify the user with a given token right that's gonna be a string and returns a response now for this we need to be using the user model as well and that's pretty much the verification function that we actually have here so we just select the user with the token we throw an uh, error a 404 error if there's no user matching this token and then we actually set it to null so this will pretty much verify the user right now let's go ahead and uh, go to the user model just here and we need to create a function here called public function uh, verified which will determine if the user is actually verified or not so for this we're going to return the token field and we're going to check if it's actually null so let's comment this out mm, returns true if the user is verified and that returns a volume right so basically if the user token is null it will mean the user is verified and otherwise it will mean it needs a new verification email now as you can see when we actually register the user in the register controller we send an email over here now this is quite tricky because sometimes this code will be repeated with a, a button call like i don't know resend a notification email or something so it's a good practice to actually get this and simply call a user send verification email for example and create this function inside the model right so we will not be repeating any code at all so let's create a public function send verification email like that and then we're just going to paste it in replacing the user with this notify with its own class now this is going to send the user a verification email and it will return a i don't know what this returns a void pretty much so that's good now we need to import this class as we did in the register controller so we can remove that one from here all right let's save this and go to our user model and paste this in now it seems like now it's everything correct now what we're going to do um, is simply go to our register function here and try to register with an account gotta place a bad password over here like one two three four five six and let's try to register and let's see what actually happens so when uh, the verification uh, i mean the register process takes on you're gonna see that nothing happens for you but actually it has happened so let's check our email and we're gonna see a new verification email has been sent saying please verify your account email to continue and it provides us with a link as you can see on the let's copy the direction it contains the verification token now let's see what happens if we place a bad one like that it's gonna say a 404 error saying the page has not been found so your account will not be verified 
All right, so let's see in this home page. Let's determine if the user is verified or not. So let's go to the resources bills. And we go to the home page here. Let's say um, your account is, and now we're gonna output the auth user in a verified field. And that's actually a function, sorry. Verified or instead not verified, right? It's actually refresh this page and it's going to say your account is not verified yet right so basically what we can do now is simply place this kind of uh, check inside a uh, let's say um, i don't know the a middleware for example so whenever we try to access this page we cannot allow the user to enter because i don't know the page is not the user is not verified yet but just for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be using this simple method to determine if the user is actually verified now if i refresh Notice nothing changes. Now, what happens if I actually press this button? It's going to say that I'm now verified. Just because the register, and of course, if I, if I refresh this one, it's going to say I'm now verified. Now, because my uh, token is now null. Now, that's the, the, the normal behavior that we can use in an application like that. And as you can see, it's very simple and it actually works really well. So I hope you actually learn how to implement this in your current project. And if you have any problems or suggestions, just tell me in the comments below.